Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about how to keep grouped text as text. Um, I'm going to skip over three of these guidelines here. Um, keep the links on, the, on a given page to a reasonable number, create useful information, rich site, and uh, write pages that clearly and accurately describe your content, and think about words uh, users would type in to find your pages and make sure that your site actually includes those words within it. Okay, that's all about content mostly, and um, while you can do those things in Zara, it's not anything really technical, it's about what you, uh, you enter in onto your site. Okay, so uh, uh, I'm going to skip on to try to use text instead of images to display important names, content, or links. The Google, uh, Google crawler doesn't recognize text contained in images. If you must use uh, images for textual content, consider using the alt attribute to include a few words of descriptive text. Now I'm going to co cover the alt attribute in the next step, but for now I'm going to show you how to, um, how to keep your grouped text as text, so text inside of an image as text. Um, so let me go back to the website that I'm working on. Now uh, let me go actually go first to the, the actual website. And you'll notice that most of this text is completely selectable text, which means it is actual text on the website. Yeah, even this stuff down here is actual selectable text. That means that the, the uh, web search engine crawlers can, can actually read this text and can do something with it. Now, up here in this kind of uh, subtitle area, this purchase your home with confidence, you notice that I can't, I don't get a, um, a little uh, text selector icon uh, or pointer when I like I do here see how I get the little text selector there here I don't get that because it's grouped with this uh, with this kind of beige uh, background together and therefore it's not uh, it's not text so the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to convert that back to text I'll go back to to Zara um, designer pro uh, first thing I need to do is select this text, so I'm going to just double click it, and that uh, helps me select the group. Actually, if I just say that, I'm going to go back real quick. So if I, I have this selected, you can see I have one group on uh, layer mouse off. Yeah, I'm going to double click it so I can edit inside the group. I'll go ahead and select my text. Yeah, and now that it's selected, I'm going to go up and give it a name, and the name that I need to give this to make it stay as text is HTML text, okay? Once I've entered that name in, HTML uh, uppercase and then uh, text with title case, all one word, click add, close, and then press the save button, okay? Now, when I preview this, I can actually select this, this text now. And that's how you do it, that's how you keep your text as, uh, as text even though it's inside of a group, and I hope you found that informative and useful. Talk to you next time.